Good morning, everyone. This is Dallas Sports. How y'all doing today? Good. This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you here in Southwood. Subject this morning, um, the, the, the pants seats of the Dallas Cowboys are hot. It's burning up hot. I looked on the car and it shows that it's 77 degrees and that's fitting. That is, my name is Dallas Sports 1977. It's 77 degrees today. Beautiful day here in Tallahassee. And um, the, the backside of the Dallas Cowboy players and coaches should be scorching hot at 77 degrees because guess what? It should be. Um, the, the Dallas Cowboys, uh, I'm seeking to get out the sun a little bit and step on some of this shade and everything because uh, it, it, it is kind of warm out here today. And, uh, and like I just said, the subject is 77 degrees. And the 77 degrees should be fitted to the Dallas Cowboys backside. All of them, Jerry Wayne Jones, Stephen Jones, Dakota Prescott, C.D. Lamb, Michael Parsons, um, Diggs, and what is that, the other guy's name, the guys in the secondary. Their backside should be hot, burning up hot right now because the Dallas Cowboys is about winning. The Dallas Cowboys are about uh, they're about championships. They're about um, putting the best on the football field out for everybody can see. That's why we became America's team because of the great legendary coach Tom Landry. He was persistent. He was dedicated to te teaching these boys discipline, respect, greatness. And it was, that's what the Dallas Cowboys was about, greatness. It was about being the best. Uh, even though we, it was, when, it was, when, we, when our team was formed, we was given no opportunity to, to, to succeed, but it, not only did we succeed, we started becoming a great franchise. 20 winning seasons, won our conference 18 times. Five world championships, eight Super Bowl appearances. It don't get no better than that. And that's what the Dallas Cowboys is about, winning. It's not about this, this lackluster effort that these players are putting out. It's about championships. It's about Bullet Bob Hayes, Bob Lilly, D.D. Lewis, Dwayne Thomas, Calvin Hill, Rayfield Wright, Roger Staubach, Tony Dorsett, Bob Lilly, Calvin Hill. I can go on and on and some more. Uh, Walt Garrison. Now that's another great one. That's what the Dallas Cowboys is about. It's about greatness. It's about, about, about greatness. It's about proving that you're the best. And the Dallas Cowboys, we are now the laughing stock of the NFL. It's embarrassing. It's insulting to all of the other great fans who follow this great franchise in America. It's embarrassing, unacceptable as a Dallas Cowboy fan. It's, it's unacceptable. Y'all can see the beautiful day here. I'm across the lake right, right now. And walking across the, the, the way is, is these geese, whatever you call those, those creatures. But uh, back on main subject, 77 degrees today. It is a beautiful day. Can, this, can the Dallas, Dallas Cowboy players and coaches sit, sit down on their seats and, and uh, look, at the, look at themselves in the mirror and realize what we need to do, what haven't we haven't done to prove that we can be the best? Uh, the Talking Heads, ESPN, all these other talk show hosts, uh, Shannon Sharp, uh, Emmanuel Acho, and uh, Dan Arlowski, and all these other uh, these talk show hosts, they have ridiculed us to the point where we are the rotten danger field of the NFL. That's embarrassing. It's unacceptable. And as a true Dallas Cowboy fan, I'm not going to stand for it. Y'all need to wake up and do something. And... Uh, if y'all want the seat not to be hot anymore, burning up to 77 degrees, y'all need to y'all need to do something and cool yourselves off and go to the ice ice pack or ice or cool or something and sit down in some ice and get and, and realize oh we need to cool things off because the seat is hot right now the seat is burning up and I blame a whole bunch of people. It starts with our owner Jerry Wayne Jones is the biggest problem. Then his son is the problem. The, the Dollar Tree salesman he's the problem. Then the, I I coach Mike. Mike McCarthy, he looks lost half of the time. Get out coached, outmaneuvered. The scheme, the, 
The offensive schemes we run is high school type stuff, little league type stuff. It's embarrassing. Okay, then C.D. Lamb, you're a diva. You get caught up in, instead of you realizing you carrying the number 88, the great Drew Pearson, the great Michael Irvin carried that number. Dez Bryant carried that number. And you need to realize what you represent. Y'all, y'all, these young players don't rep don't understand what they what the Dallas Cowboys represent. It's all about us, the star. It's all about us. We that we we uh, carry something that's great, and it's a lot of delusional Dallas Cowboy fans that won't stand up, that's um, and won't tell the truth, and think it's just uh, it, it, how to how to say this. They, they, they're very delusional. I'm not being delusional. I'm going to speak the truth. The Dallas Cowboys, we, in order for us to be on top of the mountain again, it's time for us to take the mountain. It's time for us to get things together. It's time for us players, coaches, fans, and everybody to come together as one. Stop judging one another, talking bad about one another, accusing one another, and we need to be uh, on one accord. And that's what's wrong with this. The culture in Dallas is, is terrible. The culture is bad. It's, it's, it's unacceptable. Down, back in the day when Tom Landry was our coach, we had some difficult times, but he built, he built a great dynasty. The culture was amazing, and it's unbelievable. Then when the, Jimmy Johnson came along and brought in Troy Eggman, Michael Irvin, and Emmett Smith, they built a great culture. But these, these players need to look at films and look at what the Dallas Cowboys represent. Or for us to be great like that again, they need to do something. The seat is hot, it's on fire, and it's 77 degrees on their backside. Wake up, you young players. Wake up, coaches. Wake up, players. Wake up, fans. And let's get, the, get this thing together. We have 10 games left. I doubt that we can win, ten, win 9 out of 10 games because football is a hard sport to win. But I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. I'm speaking facts here. This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you here in beautiful Southwood. I would like to thank God for his wonderful blessings to my life. Thank you, Lord, for my wonderful, beautiful wife, Winona. Thank you, Lord, for my wonderful son, D'Angelo, and my other son, Micah Aaron, and my wonderful daughter, India. Thank you, God bless, to the body of Christ, and I speak blessings to everyone. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for logging in my channel. Subscribe and um, send likes and everything, and please uh, give a comment. Thank you. God bless you. Take care. And it's all about us. Peace, soul, and love. I love you. Take care. God bless you. And have a wonderful and a beautiful blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you.